Sometimes circumstances may compel one of the spouse to withdraw from the society of another. It would not amount to desertion. In Ragesh Kumar versus Judge Family Court Varanasi, Air 1988, Allahabad. Husband's claim for dissolution was disallowed. The wife who withdrew from the society of husband was actually being asked by her husband to get an amount of rupees 16,000 from their parents. Similarly, in Sunil Kumar versus Usha, the wife withdrew from the society of husband due to unpalatable atmosphere in the matrimonial home. It was held that she was not guilty of desertion. Actually, the terror and tension prevailing in the matrimonial home drove her out. In Om Prakash versus Madhu, 1997, the husband and wife were living separately because Husband wanted to complete his studies and he did not allow her to come back. It was held that there was no desertion on the part of the wife. In Sandeep Kumar versus Samtha Kumar, year 2008, the wife left the matrimonial home with the permission of her husband. Later on, no effort was made by her to come back. Consequently, divorce was granted by presuming intention from the conduct. Desertion not only means actual desertion, it also includes constructive desertion. In Savitri Pandey versus Prem Chandra, 2002 Supreme Court, the Apex Court held that the desertion means withdrawing from matrimonial obligations and not withdrawal from place. If a party withdraws from cohabitation, despite the fact the spouses are living in the same house, it amounts to desertion. To constitute desertion, it is important that factum and animus, intention to desert, must coexist. In Adam Bhatia, versus Adam Bhatia, 2002 Supreme Court. The Apex Court emphasized that both animus and factum must coexist to constitute desertion. However, it is not important that one must precede the other. Sometimes one may leave the matrimonial home with no intention to withdraw from the society. It would not amount to desertion. If later on, one forms an intention not to return and consequently not returns at all. One becomes the deserter because at that very moment, both elements, factum and animus, decedendi coexist. These two elements are not enough unless the statutory period of two years must have run out before the petition for divorce on the ground of desertion is presented. Desertion can be ended when the deserting spouse comes back or resumes cohabitation within the statutory period of two years.